Hi, everybody. I am Danny Terrell, uh, based out of Seattle, Washington, and I am talking to one of my favorite artists in the world and just a beautiful human being, Raja Feather Kelly. Uh, why are we talking today? Uh, okay, why are we talking? We are talking because yes. <laughs> together you and I, along with the amazing Washington Ensemble Theater, have gotten together to produce Boat Art Boat. And this is essentially a queer instigation about like nuance and unearthing expression and artistic communities and unabashed artistic adventures. Yes. And, and to remind people to vote. That's why we're here. <laughs> so, Ugly came to Seattle, Washington. It was off to a beautiful start. And we'll talk about what Ugly is in a second. And something happened that we all know, the pandemic, and Ugly had to stop. And Ugly was an inspiration behind Vote Art Vote. So if you want to talk more about Ugly, um, your ties to Seattle, you've been doing work out here since 2009. So, and then give us a, another relationship of why Vote Art Vote, Vote and Ugly come together. Ugly is this solo that I created, and I created the solo that for me it was about like the, there was a lack of nuance about queer subjectivity. Like I was seeing right. black and queer people on TV, but I was like, that's not me. So like, I just feel like I'm, you know, I'm different. I'm like an alien, I'm like an outsider. Right. And I knew that more people who felt that way as well, more black uh, queer people who felt that. So I made this piece that was kind of like a signal, right? It was kind of like, look, all you other black queer weirdos out there, you know, I am here too. And this is my coming out solo as a glamour alien. And, 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 and it was, it was, it was a call to action for, for myself and also a, 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 an outspeak to, to my community. And so right. excited. So I performed it in New York City, was commissioned here. And then Washington Ensemble Theater were like, come and do it here. And like you said, the the pandemic shut it down we were one of the last performances to yes. to be uh, to be like you know clawing up the walls in seattle and after that it, we sort of felt un we had unfinished business like me and, and the ensemble we were like there is something unfinished and so we were like well right. what do we do do you come out do you want to do it again do you want to remount it do you want to make something else do you want to and i was like i want to get into the community i i feel like i feel like that's what i need you know like how do we right. create the needs to be created and I'm like what needs to be created is community and I also had this desire I was like I also really want to work with Danny Terrell I, you know I'm just trying to like you know pick up for like Danny you got this opportunity I'm trying to call you up we gotta work together right um, took me to the people you know like we're the Seattle weirdos and the people you know the, the thinkers and the movers and the shakers where they at right and so I had a desire to build community to have other people sort of exp experience this platform right? like literal and figurative but the set of ugly is this platform box that makes you feel like you're the thing on exhibition but really you're looking out at the world and be like we're watching you um and right. and, and this way so it was it was like wanting to share that space and wanting to create community wanting to work with you and and, and be introduced Thank to community you. there and to remind people to vote yes <laughs> but, but, I, but particularly, particularly like why not just not just the simple like get out and vote we know that it's important right. but why so it's like if we center this community, if we center the people who are the heart of the art in Seattle, and you're like, save these people's lives, give them coins, give them celebration, save their lives, vote for whoever you're going to vote for, vote for these people. That's exactly. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And just for anybody, if you weren't able to see Ugly, you really missed a really beautiful uh, performance. It resonated with me as a queer Black person. Um, and and a person that's also on the trans spectrum and so it just it spoke to me on so many different levels and so asking to be a part of this project with you raja it's one an honor and just learning from you and how you move um it's it's beneficial for all artists i think to find someone and to work with someone and understand how they move sometimes we're just like oh it's us it's a, you know we're in producer mode and we're in that, but to be able to fall into this world of like, I'm curating and I'm taking direction, learning so much. And that's my hope that the artists working with you and working with us on this project, they learn that. Um, what, what drew you 
to a lot of the artists. I and mean, I know I curated but, some of them, but <laughs> you could have said no. Right, right. Well, you know, it's, it's that, that conversation is really exciting, right? Like that we're like, you know, who are we curating? Like who's out there? And it, it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you saying so much that you feel like you're able to learn, but I feel the same. I'm like, what's interesting about every single one of these artists in you is that like, I get to learn, right? Like, I think there's right. this thing that sometimes you're an artist and you're out there and you're doing stuff and people see you in a certain way and you're like, I'm actually just trying to stay fulfilled. I'm trying to stay learning. I'm trying to stay being. And, exactly. and what is that? You, you introduce yourself. So I, I feel like I'm getting this opportunity to get closer to them and they are so unique and so smart in the way that they think about art and think about how they themselves are in art and think about space and time. It's just so... Right. You know, we've been having one-on-ones with them, and I'm just like, this is it's 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 like the pulp of art, and like it's it's like the essence of it. It's it's query, yes. it's question, it's curiosity. It's like demanding what they need, and that is something like you know, I'll take my lessons any day, and so that's what's drawing me to each of them, uh, and, and and being able to sh- to share that with folks and and bring right. people's eyes to that. I feel like that's. That's the purpose of art, that community. That's the purpose of, 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 of artists being like, y'all, we know what the unknown is, right? Like artists right. know what the unknown is. We know how to build community. We know how to think. We know how to get what we want. And that's sort of like where the world is, right? Like the larger picture of this world is kind of like, well, how do we deal with the unknown? There's a pandemic or like, how do we collaborate with people to get what we need? How do we think deeper and more critically? It's like, y'all pay attention to artists because this is what we do on a day-to-day basis. And so like sharing right. that is, is what's right. drawing me to the most important. And I think like uh, another thing that I I don't think a lot of people understand is that the Northwest, uh, we don't necessarily always have a platform because we think, you know, people think we're so far removed from the world at times. And there's only a few artists that have more of a national platform from the Northwest. So I really like um, that artists get to speak on a different platform about who they are and, and what they bring to the table. And I'm excited. Okay, I work with pretty much most of the list of the artists. I've worked with them in some capacity. Um, Just being transparent, but I'm excited about these people, um, these artists, because their voices are so different from one another. And we have people that are mothers. We have people that are fresh into college. We have people that are mid-career, just beginning. We We have people producing shows, not producing shows. And how they show up and how they matter is so important. It's not about matter because I'm a this, matter because I'm a that, matter because I matter, my life matters. And 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 what you said was really important. Vote for me because you you need to just protect me and save my life. Um, what do you hope people get in viewing vote art vote? What do you want people to take away outside of go to vote? What else do you want people to be moved with and take away? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for asking. And in some ways, I'm kind of like, y'all, every, hopefully people know that they need to vote. Like, it's not, yes. not, it's not too big of a concept to understand you need to vote. But I think people need to be reminded, right? Like, so, so it's twofold. I really want for the performers to feel like, oh, I have this moment to kind of do whatever I want. Someone is like, kind of do whatever right. I want. What does that mean? And like, how often are we told to do whatever we want. I feel like there are like three people in my career who've ever looked at me and said, Raja, yes. I'm gonna do what you want. And I've always felt completely like myself when I'm given those opportunities yes. to do that. And so I'm like, could I share that with people? Could I be like, hey y'all, do what you want. I mean, you got two minutes, but do what you want. But do what you want. <laughs> And will will that in some way allow people to actually like like because we're in this virtual space because you know we're going to be using uh, this media like to reach more people is there a way to create intimacy is there a way that you actually get like a peek inside of who these people are and be touched and moved by that and want more of that and to think that like, if you want more of that and you appreciate that and you are moved to some like catharsis by that, then that's what you're voting for. You're voting for these people to continue doing what they do, to exist, to live, to be in the world. See these humans, 
see these artists, see these people, like you said, mothers, emerging artists, mid-career producers, musicians, see them for who they are and get out and vote for that. That is that is what I want. And also like love them, love them yes. because they are putting themselves out there for you. And not on exhibition. It's kind of like they're whispering in your ear and they're like, this is me. Right. right. That's what I want. All right, you all, you heard it. And y'all know what y'all gotta do. Buy some tickets. Do that first. <laughs> and then vote, vote after you buy your tickets. <laughs> vote our vote. Depending on yes, depending on where you're at. Okay. Bye everybody. Bye.